So in this video, I'm going to show you how we can call our load function before even routing to the page using SvelteKit's prefetch. SvelteKit uses code splitting to break up your app into small chunks of code, one per route. This ensures fast startup time since your app only needs to load the code that you currently need. Now we can ensure even faster startup times by using SvelteKit's prefetch anchor on link tags. This prefetches the code for a page before you actually route to it. So for example, let's look at our dynamic route product slash cup. In order to render this page, we need to fetch the product's data, which we can't do until we know the product's name. This may result in a lag as the browser waits for data to come back from the server, especially if we're fetching a lot of data. We can mitigate this delay by prefetching the data. So in our grid tile component, we can add a prefetch attribute to our link tag by typing sveltkit colon prefetch like this. This attribute will cause SvelteKit to run the page's load function as soon as a user hovers over the link on a desktop or touches it on mobile, rather than waiting for the click event to trigger navigation. To visualize this, let's log our product data in our load function on our product page. Now back in our app, we see that when we hover over a product, the data for that product is being logged in the console. This is because the page's data is now being prefetched. This means that if the user then routes to that page, the page will load almost instantaneously. Typically, prefetching buys us an extra couple of hundred milliseconds, which is the difference between a user interface that feels laggy and one that feels snappy. To really show the difference this makes, let's add a one second timeout to our load function. Now we know that it will take at least a second to fetch our product's data. If we temporarily remove our prefetch attribute from our grid tile link, we see that when we click a product, it lags before routing to the page. This is because the page will not render until it receives a response from our load function. Now if we add our prefetch attribute back and test this again, we see that when we click our product, we route to the page almost instantaneously. So that was SvelteKit's prefetch. It's a really easy way to make your app feel extra snappy. Now that we have our application built out, in the next video, I'm gonna show you how to adapt it for deployment on Vercel. 